Did you know that the use of drones in military operations has skyrocketed by 1,100% since 2005? According to a report by the Center for the Study of the Drone at Bard College, the number of countries with military drone programs has grown from just a handful to over 100 in less than two decades. This rapid expansion has transformed modern warfare, with drones now accounting for a significant portion of airstrikes in conflicts like those in the Middle East. For instance, the US alone has conducted thousands of drone strikes in countries such as Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia, raising profound ethical and legal questions about their use. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support, let's continue. Building on the staggering rise of drone usage in military operations, a new and even more transformative technology is emerging, swarm drones. Unlike traditional drones, which are typically operated individually or in small groups, swarm drones involve large numbers of autonomous or semi-autonomous drones working together in a coordinated manner, often mimicking the behavior of natural swarms, like flocks of birds or schools of fish. This evolution from single drones to swarm technology represents a significant leap in military capabilities. Traditional drones have already revolutionized surveillance, reconnaissance, and targeted strikes, but swarm drones take this a step further by introducing overwhelming numbers, adaptability, and collective intelligence. For example, a swarm of drones can simultaneously perform multiple tasks, such as surveillance, electronic jamming, and precision strikes while adapting to dynamic battlefield conditions in real time. The relevance of swarm drones in modern warfare lies in their potential to saturate enemy defenses, making it nearly impossible for traditional anti-air systems to neutralize all incoming threats. Countries like the US, China, and Israel are already investing heavily in this technology, with demonstrations showing swarms of hundreds of drones operating in unison. This shift not only enhances military effectiveness but also raises new ethical and strategic concerns, as the use of autonomous swarms could lower the threshold for conflict and complicate accountability in warfare. Military forces today face a myriad of challenges in combat scenarios, many of which are exacerbated by the complexities of modern warfare. One of the most critical needs is superior surveillance. In an era where information dominance can dictate the outcome of conflicts, the ability to gather real-time intelligence over vast and often hostile territories is paramount. Traditional surveillance methods, such as satellite imagery and manned aircraft, are often limited by factors like weather conditions, cost, and vulnerability to enemy attacks. While drones have significantly improved surveillance capabilities, they still face limitations in terms of range, endurance, and the ability to operate in contested airspace. Another major challenge is the need for rapid response. Modern conflicts are characterized by their speed and unpredictability, requiring forces to react quickly to emerging threats. Delays in decision-making or deployment can result in missed opportunities or escalated threats. Current drone technology, while advanced, often requires significant human intervention for operation and decision-making, which can slow response times. Additionally, the need for secure communication links to control drones can be a vulnerability, as these links can be jammed or hacked by adversaries. The limitations of current drone technology further compound these challenges. While drones have proven effective in targeted strikes and reconnaissance missions, they are often limited by their payload capacity, battery life, and susceptibility to electronic warfare. For instance, smaller drones may not carry enough fuel or weapons for extended missions, while larger drones can be easier targets for enemy defenses. Moreover, the reliance on GPS for navigation makes drones vulnerable to GPS jamming and spoofing, which can disrupt their operations. These challenges highlight the need for advancements in drone technology, particularly in the development of swarm drones. Swarm drones can address many of these limitations by providing a more resilient and adaptable solution. For example, a swarm of drones can cover a larger area for surveillance, share information in real-time, and continue to operate even if some units are lost or compromised. Their collective intelligence and redundancy make them less vulnerable to jamming and other forms of electronic warfare, ensuring a more robust and rapid response to dynamic combat scenarios. 
swarm drones represent a paradigm shift in military technology, leveraging advanced algorithms, artificial intelligence, AI, and real-time communication to operate as a cohesive unit. Here's a closer look at how they work and the advantages they bring to military operations. How Swarm Drones Work 1. Autonomous Coordination Swarm drones are equipped with AI algorithms that enable them to operate autonomously. These algorithms allow each drone to make decisions based on real-time data and the actions of other drones in the swarm. This decentralized decision-making process is inspired by natural swarms, such as bees or ants, where individual units follow simple rules that result in complex group behavior. 2. Real-time communication. Swarm drones communicate with each other using secure, high-speed data links. This communication allows them to share information about their environment, mission objectives, and the status of other drones in the swarm. Advanced communication protocols ensure that the swarm can adapt to changes in the battlefield, such as the loss of a drone or the emergence of new threats. 3. Collective Intelligence The swarm operates as a single entity with collective intelligence. Each drone contributes to the overall mission by performing specific tasks, such as surveillance, target identification, or electronic jamming. The swarm can dynamically redistribute tasks based on the capabilities and status of individual drones, ensuring mission continuity even if some units are compromised. 4. Adaptive Behavior Swarm drones can adapt to changing conditions in real time. For example, if a drone detects an enemy threat, it can immediately relay this information to the rest of the swarm, which can then adjust its strategy accordingly. This adaptability makes swarm drones highly resilient and difficult to counter. Advantages over traditional single-unit drones 1. Enhanced surveillance and reconnaissance. Swarm drones can cover a much larger area than a single drone, providing comprehensive surveillance and reconnaissance. Their ability to operate in a coordinated manner allows them to gather more detailed and accurate intelligence, which is crucial for mission planning and execution. 2. Overwhelming enemy defenses. The sheer number of drones in a swarm can saturate enemy defenses, making it difficult for traditional anti-air systems to neutralize all incoming threats. This saturation effect can overwhelm radar systems, missile defenses, and other countermeasures, increasing the likelihood of mission success. 3. Redundancy and Resilience The loss of a single drone in a swarm does not significantly impact the overall mission. The remaining drones can quickly adapt and redistribute tasks, ensuring mission continuity. This redundancy makes swarm drones more resilient to enemy attacks and electronic warfare. 4. Rapid Response and Flexibility Swarm drones can be deployed quickly and can adapt to dynamic battlefield conditions in real time. Their ability to perform multiple tasks simultaneously, such as surveillance, electronic jamming, and precision strikes, allows for a more flexible and rapid response to emerging threats. 5. Cost Effectiveness While the initial development and deployment of swarm drone technology may be costly, the use of smaller, less expensive drones in large numbers can be more cost-effective than relying on a few high-end, single-unit drones. This cost-effectiveness allows for broader deployment and greater operational flexibility. 6. Minimized risk to human operators. Swarm drones reduce the need for human operators to be in harm's way. Their autonomous capabilities and collective intelligence minimize the risk to military personnel, allowing for safer and more efficient operations. Here is an example of how China's electronic warfare tech makes tiny drone appear as a massive stadium on radar. While China's cutting-edge sixth-generation fighter jets soar through the skies with advanced stealth technology, a team of scientists has been pioneering a radically different approach to electronic warfare. Rather than focusing on stealth, these researchers are developing technology designed to deceive radar operators into mistaking a small radar reflector, about the size of an iPad, for a massive, stadium-sized UFO. Imagine a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie, a colossal flying saucer seemingly appearing out of nowhere. According to a peer-reviewed paper published on January 8 in the Chinese-language journal Radar Science and Technology, this futuristic concept is not only possible but has already been achieved. 
The research team, led by Chen Chang, an associate researcher at the National University of Defense Technologies School of Electronic Science and Technology, successfully created a radar cross-section RCS. The echo produced by a target's power output, measuring a staggering 5,240 square meters, 56,400 square feet, from the small tablet-sized device. The team described their achievement as unprecedented efficiency. By activating the radar reflector while mounted on a drone, they found it could significantly increase RCS to mask the characteristics of real targets, effectively achieving tactical goals such as anti-reconnaissance and anti-attack. This means that a swarm of drones equipped with these reflectors could flood radar screens, creating confusion and overwhelming enemy defenses. The RCS is determined by the amount of power a target reflects. When this energy is scattered uniformly in all directions, it creates an echo on the radar screen that appears much larger than the actual object. Chen and his team drew inspiration for this innovative device from a 1959 patent by Lester C. Van Atta, a radar expert at the Hughes Aircraft Company, demonstrating how decades-old ideas can be reimagined for modern warfare. This breakthrough highlights a new frontier in electronic warfare, where deception and overwhelming numbers could redefine how conflicts are fought in the skies. Traditional radar reflectors, such as Lunaberg lenses and corner reflectors, suffer from limited efficiency and simplistic designs that can be easily detected by advanced radar systems. While more sophisticated electronic warfare tools can generate deceptive signals, they are often prohibitively expensive and too large to be mounted on smaller platforms like drones or loitering munitions. In 1959, radar expert Lester C. Van Atta proposed a groundbreaking solution, a unique array antenna designed to ensure that incoming and reflected radar waves aligned perfectly. However, for the concept to work effectively, the array's aperture needed to be significantly larger, a requirement that kept the idea confined to theory for six decades. Now, Chinese scientists have breathed new life into Van Atta's concept. By applying an electrical current to the Van Atta array, they were able to dramatically enhance its radar cross-section RCS, boosting capabilities, according to their research. This innovation allows even a compact, tablet-sized reflector to mimic the radar signature of a much larger object. However, this breakthrough came with its own set of challenges. The researchers discovered that the amplified signals caused interference between different elements of the array, particularly in smaller radar reflectors. This interference complicates the design and requires further refinement to optimize performance. Despite these hurdles, the team's work represents a significant step forward in electronic warfare technology, offering a cost-effective and scalable solution for deceiving radar systems on the modern battlefield. The research team addressed the interference issue by developing an innovative signal isolation module. Additionally, they integrated a pattern structure into the center of the transmitting and receiving antenna array, which further enhanced the device's signal gain, as detailed in their paper. Rigorous testing conducted in a military laboratory demonstrated that the prototype could effectively amplify and reflect electromagnetic waves from a wide range of angles. The device performed exceptionally well in the X-band frequency range, which is widely used for weapons control and target tracking, making it particularly suitable for military applications. The researchers highlighted that their approach only requires powering the amplification module, eliminating the need for complex electromagnetic signal generation and analysis. This simplicity allows for miniaturization and scalability, making the technology adaptable for various platforms, including small drones and loitering munitions. The project involved collaboration with the People's Liberation Army's 63853 unit, based in Chongchun, northeastern China. This unit, according to publicly available information, specializes in testing the performance and reliability of weapons systems, underscoring the practical military significance of the research. By overcoming previous limitations, this breakthrough paves the way for more advanced and versatile electronic warfare capabilities, offering a cost-effective and scalable solution for modern battlefield scenarios. Swarm drones have the potential to transform the future of warfare by addressing current limitations and introducing new levels of efficiency, adaptability, and resilience. As this technology continues to evolve, 
it will likely play a pivotal role in shaping military strategies, offering a powerful tool for achieving tactical and strategic objectives while minimizing risks and costs. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's military development and advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.